I just finished it now, actually. Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new video on this channel. Um, I will still be doing the tutorial for the crack crease, it's just the video that I have on my phone kind of like went haywire and it, wouldn't, it doesn't want to go on my computer and I'm like freaking upset about it, so stay tuned for that. Also, I've been wanting to do a lot more makeup tutorials for you guys, but it's kind of hard because I don't have the lighting for it. I don't have the camera for it, definitely. Why do you have the camera? I would hate to have to keep converting um, files or, or actually tapes into files every single time I make a video, but I think it might be worth it uh, because it's a very good camera. It's a uh, movie kind of camera, so maybe we can see what we can do. Just let me know what you guys want. So I already know this video is probably going to get a lot of views because it is an update video on my hormones and those these videos get a lot of views. So, this month has probably been one of my most um, eventful months, actually, in my HRT. And I'm very, I'm very happy to say a lot of really crazy eventful things. So let's get started. Okay, so mental uh, changes that I've had this, this month have been um, definitely really crazy. I don't know what has been going on, but my... Um, my attraction in relationships to look to a relationship has kind of like decreased like crazy. So like I haven't really been looking into relationships at all. Like it's... I know that was like something that was going on for like the longest time but you know it kind of dropped like dramatically so I'm like whoa this is crazy. This is a big drop. I don't, I haven't even thought about it for like the past month and a half and this month has only been like a little bit longer only because of the fact that I'm not gonna lie, there was like two days out of this month where I kind of forgot to, to take my HRT because like literally you take it once a day and sometimes you don't want to double dose if you kind of like, if you're not too sure if you took it that morning. And um, so I come up, I came up with this brand new method. I say, you know, how about I keep one of my old ones and I have that, that day's worth of supplies in that one little um, cartridge or whatever you call these things. Um, so at the end of the day, I can tell whether I took my day's worth or not. So that's why I decided to start doing it because I was kind of tired of like, at the end of the day, wondering, did I take my hormones? Did I take my hormones? I don't want to take them again because if I do, you know, and then I forgot what day of the month it is and so it's, it's a lot and you know, I just didn't want to double dose because double dosing is not a very smart thing to do. Um, but seven months, wow. Time does fly by and guys, I'm almost about to hit my one year on in a transition and I'm very excited uh, because I've went through so much and especially for the one year video I think I really want to show you guys how much I have legit changed since the beginning and it's, it's amazing um, we are eight days away that I'm filming this video we are eight days away from my one year and wow yeah see, see this isn't a phase um, so we're definitely going strong, and we've got our new, our new seven month um, supply here, and I'm very happy. I haven't doubled anything at all since the second month, and I think this is like the, the area where I'm going to stay at. I don't think I'm going to be doubling it again or anything in the future. If anything, in the future I probably will be lowering it because, you know, with surgeries and stuff like that, you want to lower it. Because Especially for bottom surgery, anyways. So, that was mental changes. Um, mood swings have been kind of up and down. This time, now I could really under I could realize the mood swings are there, and um, it's been harder for me to control the mood swings at this point. I don't know if it hopefully it subsides in the next two months, month, one month, you know, because they say it's the first couple months or the first like five months after three months I guess that you hit like your mood swings and stuff like that and yeah they're definitely they're definitely going in there strong and it's very hard because you know, you know you can't stay consistently on one little like good you know what I mean you have to be upset the next second and you're happy the next second and it's like and you know it's funny everybody says this but they're like well yeah during this certain month I was all well during taking hormones people could say I was impossible to live with and Honestly, I can I can see where they're they're coming from whenever I say that because legit I can't even live with myself sometimes. So yeah, um, 
I have definitely changed a lot of my styles since the beginning of my transition because, you know, when you come out, you kind of want to just explore who you are and what you enjoy the most whenever you're allowed to be who you want to be, or who you're supposed to be anyways. So, um, what I ever, well, what I ended up doing was, you know, we had at first the wig, then we had, like, different kind of hairstyles, and of course, at that time, I thought my hair was kind of long to do and I freaking hate looking back at it because my hair looks so damn bad. I hated it so much. Um, I was like, it's so short. It's so, oh my gosh. I'm so happy how long it's gone, guys. It's gone down to underneath my shoulders. Right now I have it concealed. I have it concealed in these braids. Thank you to the people at Avita to do my braids. They're really nice. A lot of people love my braids. This month has been quite great because there's, I have joined my new job area in the like month and a half that's been around and it has been such a great month and a half. I think everything for me has been able to transition a lot more smoothly because I'm around <laughs> people that don't know I'm transgender. So um, to me, that's a better thing. To some people, it might be not, you know, but to me it is because it allows me to be who I want to be, who I'm supposed to be, and no one's going to say anything. I don't feel fake around anybody. Um, so I'm I'm very happy. I'm very happy. I think there's only one person that knows this because gossip, you know, it's a, it's um more of a you know it's a small company, so there's a lot of gossip around. I'm surprised nobody else knows. At least that's what I think. But uh, I get treated very well. I get treated like amazingly well, actually. I can be um, and it actually helps out. Believe it or not, you know, the more acceptance you have, the more um, your your transition can go smoothly. And you can be who you want to be more smoothly. And, um, so my skin has definitely helped me out with that. And that's, and I have lost a lot of acne, guys. When I first started off, I had a lot of acne. And, you know, don't get me wrong, I haven't really been focusing on my face. But there was a month, I think, I think, um, this fifth month that I can really, I saw the, the, the changes and if you guys go to my older videos you guys will see what I we mean and especially my makeup um, has gotten so much better I'm so much more happier to wake up and do it even though I've always been it's just a lot more happier and more enthusiastic to know how what I can do and what you know what my talents are now you know when I first started this channel I didn't think I was gonna do anything of a makeup tutorial I was like um oh, Makeup is a fun thing, but I don't want to make people. I don't want to show people how to do it because I don't think I can do it. <laughs> now it's completely different. I'm like, oh my god, I want to do this. Uh, I've had a lot of inspirations on YouTube, so I really want to show people how to do certain like you new know, makeup things. Um, so I like to wear these glasses. These are like my kind of like um, my style of fashion of who I feel like Charlotte should be and. Um, so I, I've done my makeup, my eye makeup. My eye makeup is not obviously is sh usually shown with these glasses on, but um, that's the only thing I downside. I love big glasses like this. I just hate how it covers up your eye makeup and you're like, did all this shit for nothing. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's okay. My makeup has gotten better. I'm very happy for uh, the skin clear up that my hormones have done. Sex drive has went. Let's just say that it's gone higher, and I don't know why. I don't know why it has, but I'm just going with the flow, guys, because I just don't know. It's gone higher. I don't know why that is. Sometimes it freaks me out because I don't want it to be, but it is. So, you know, and I can tell. I can tell. Um, but sensation feels different. It's not the same as it was before. And um, I'm finding myself more attracted to certain things. Okay, so I know that there's like a stigma around this is that you can't really change who you're attracted to. I think that is the truth. But I think whenever you come out as transgender or whatever, I mean, say you're lesbian, you might start focusing a little more on opening it up your mind towards everything and you start noticing that maybe you might accept things happening. It's more like um, figuring out rather than like, oh, now I'm attracted to boys and girls. It's more like, um, oh dang, I opened up my mind and now I'm 
accepting of that. Like I can, I, I, I don't mind seeing myself like that. I've been having a lot of good weird feelings lately about wanting to be held. Kind of like, I know, it's freaking weird. It's amazing how like nine, ten months ago, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna be, you know, the strong one of the house. And now I'm like the, I wanna be the one that's just, you know, I don't know, it's like, okay, I just, I wanna be the one that's held. Like, it's a weird feeling, guys. Uh, I think that it's probably one of the most amazing feelings to to me in this transition. It's like how my mindset has changed. And it's not just me changing, it's like, it's like, like, make me feel like a woman, I guess. I don't know. Uh, so I have definitely found a lot uh, um, guys to be attractive again, or now. I guess I kind of opened up to that. But when I was a boy, I, I mm -mm. it was a no. It was a no for me. But now it's like a, yes. But it's very confusing right now. It's very confusing. I can feel it, but sometimes I, I'm like, it's very hard for me to accept myself, in other words. But we're gonna get, we're gonna definitely gonna get through it. Um, so as for more changes, I have been corset training again, and uh, I've been working very hard. I actually reverted from wearing my corset every day, all day, all night, to just wearing it eight hours a day because the corset that I had I recently gotten is actually a more of a high quality, intense corset. So it's not like just like, uh, you know, put it on, you know, you got a corset on for the rest of the day and it doesn't really bother. It's more of a, <gasps> I can't embrace corset. But it feels good, it's nothing wrong with the whole corset thing. It's, I can still, I can still breathe, well, I can still breathe. And I, it's not uncomfortable. It's just something that I know I wouldn't want to wear all day. Like, and I'm saying like, all day, all night, all day, all night. I will put on my waist trainer at night, but other than that, like, during the day we have eight hours, so I have like 7 a.m. to 2 p.m., 3 p.m., 4 p.m., somewhere around there. And that has been working. Um, I know I show you guys this like almost every single video, update video, so. Um, according to my calculations, like imagine if I did that. Like when I just stand straight like that. I don't know how, that, how it looks on the camera. Probably look like a freaking twig. But that's how my uh, body shape has changed. But anyways, I actually really like, well, I don't know, I can't really move my phone. I don't want to move it because I have a very good picture right now, so. Usually what I do is I, I go my freaking... I'm so silly, I'm sorry guys. You get the gist of what I'm trying to buy right <laughs> Okay, I don't want, no need to make myself look dumb. But, um, for those changes, I literally have felt different. Especially down in the, in the thigh area where I, I can feel like literally. Um, back when I was a guy, I used to be, like, looking at my butt and stuff. And it was like, this fucking thing is small. Now it's like, mm, it's getting a little bigger. I think I still have a long way to go with shape. But I think that it, it's definitely starting to... To, to go through now as, as to what it has before and I could wear a lot more things I said if I wear a lot more sp spandex kind of like sports wear kind of things it really shows my curves a lot guys and sometimes like I'm getting to that point where I'm actually kind of enjoying wearing <laughs> uh pants like that have like um no back pockets or anything they it really looks good I like it don't judge me I am that kind of woman, I'm a whore. All right, so we're switching angles. I have definitely gained a little bit, you can tell. Especially when it comes to the front. So we, ch we change our camera to the front camera. Uh, hopefully it didn't show up a nipple right there, but you know, it's definitely has, you s I definitely have some shape. I think that I'm having actual good progress. Everything is kind of like shaping out. Everything is shaping out to be really great. I'm very happy for myself. Oh my gosh, like I definitely don't look the same wearing like shirts without a bra on because I kind of look like I have like a, a very chubby friend. Like as if I'm supposed to be a fat person, but I'm not. <laughs> and um, 
everything has been going very great. Um, I think my voice is kind of still at the same point. I've been having a bit of a problems with it lately. I don't know why. I just kind of felt like it hasn't been up to par. It's messing up sometimes or whatever. Maybe I don't know. But it's the voice is actually becoming a normal thing. I um I'm finding it to be more natural for me to say it. I don't have to like feel like I'm trying to say some other voice. It's more like a natural voice. I can't go back to my old voice unless I really try to like you know try. But it's it's something that I really don't go back to. Um, but we're almost in one year from the beginning of coming out, and we're at seven months of HRT. Such a big, big milestone. And we're only five months away from a higher milestone. And I definitely want to say thank you to all my fans, everybody that has supported me. I'm in Charlotte Tears. And how far you guys have supported me in my transition. Oh, you guys have no idea how much it means to me. Uh, we are at 220 subscribers, which I don't know how we are because I have not uploaded consistently at all on this channel for at least two months, two and a half months. And I've been getting subscribers the whole time. And I guarantee you I'd have a lot more if I just uploaded on a regular basis. Um, it just, you know, the whole filming videos, <laughs> They're a little hard to film when people are around, and, like, I'm not gonna lie. I get a little bit of a nervousness, especially when it's, like, a, a channel that has to do so much about my body and my, um, changes. But to me, I think I'm getting used to it. I'm getting very used to it, and I will definitely, um, I think warming up to it. Like, at first right now, it's, it's like walking in public and trying to have your phone out and doing vlogs and people staring at you because you're doing vlogs. One of the most amazing feelings I think I've had being trans is that society is treating me so good. Now, I don't know if it's because I pass or not, because I do not get clocked. Don't, don't, pretend you didn't hear that. I, because I don't, I don't get outed in public. I don't, people treat me like a woman in public. I get flirted with them a lot. Um, I get to, you know, I, I go into the women's restroom now, and no one gives me problems. It's a normal thing. Everything has transitioned, and that's the greatest thing about this whole year, year for me, is I've gone so much from this Kermit crab <coughs> in its shell to this beautiful butterfly. You know, Stephen was a worm. Ugly worm. And then cocoon happened, and then Charlotte was a bu is a butterfly. My transition. I'm very happy. I'm so happy with my life right now. I've I've been experiencing the best of my Cyrus, both worlds. I think it's awesome when you go through transition because you get to experience what it's like to be a boy and a girl. And to me, that is probably one of the most amazing artistical feelings of this entire transition because like. You know, to, like, it's crazy, like, how I pass in public, like, but everything is going great. I can't wait, guys. I really want, I, I really started doing the corset training because I know the results it can give me. It can give me some fine-ass results, and I'm going to keep doing that because, and I, I really have to start getting back into the working out thing because I haven't done that, and I think that if I start doing that now, I can get some freaking amazing results. I think I'm gonna do a lot of intense cardio and um, and some fruits and vegetables eating. I like to go for what Al Bradford went and how she looks now and I think that if I can achieve that look, girl, I will look amazing. Anyways guys, this video is getting pretty long so I'm gonna let you guys off at that. I uh, definitely experienced a lot of changes this month. This month has been a very great month. I've loved it every step of the way. Um, Except for the things, but we're getting there. We're getting there. By the way, guys, my book is going to be coming out sometime in December or January. So if you guys want to support that, uh, just let me know. I'm going to be doing pre-orders for my book on December 7th for $20 for the, um, for the paperback copy and $12 for the digital copy. So just let me know. 
All, all my links will be down in the description below. My Instagram, follow that please. My Facebook, you can add me on Facebook. My um, my profile, my regular Facebook, I don't care. I like my Charlotte Cheers, um, I love them all, so. Yes, uh, by the way, if you wanna be a Charlotte Tear and then subscribe, subscribe down below and you will be an official Charlotte Tear and you can tell all your friends about it. Anyways guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. If you guys, did this, if you guys like this video, leave it a thumbs up. Show us some love, subscribe. I'm Charlotte, you guys are my Charlotte Tears. Bye.